We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Thanks to our friends at Discover Newport Chef. Mike Johnson is here. North End Steakhouse and Mainstay Hotel. Let me tell you. Brace yourself because this is <laughs> this, this is a good one. We've got filet mignon with risotto, and this just isn't, isn't any filet. No, Will, you got to take a look at this meat here. What I have for you here is 12 ounce bone in filet mignon. That is awesome. We've all had a filet mignon, hopefully, mm -hmm. but uh, we keep the bone on it. Roasted on the bone keeps it moist, keeps it tender. And if you, the flavor that comes out of this piece of meat is absolutely incredible. We have a proprietary rub that we use. And you got a little secret ingredient. I'll tell you about that. Fantastic. In just a little bit. And our risotto is going to be a, a mushroom and asparagus risotto. We have a nice red wine and rosemary demi glaze that's going to go on the meat right here. So in our ingredients, we've got uh, our arborio rice, which I've cooked down a little bit ahead yep. of time. It takes about 18 minutes to cook. Okay. Uh, it's simple. Simple. You don't need too many ingredients right. to, to uh, mess we, up the When you have something like that, you don't need anything else, right? That's, that's the flavor right, right there, right. my friend. That, that's the steak you want to highlight. Uh, it goes beautifully with the ingredients we have. So we have some house-made uh, boars and cheese, which, is, you know, you go in the, the supermarket at $7. I'll tell you how to make it at home. Okay. Uh, that'll be a big help to you. Uh, I've got some fresh rosemary, asparagus, button mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms you want. We're coming to the season right now uh, where great mushrooms are coming out. Rhode Island Mushroom Company is a great company to, to look for for great local mushrooms. Don't go out in the forest yourself. Right. Yeah, don't do that. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Could be trippy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, uh, so those are our ingredients for today. A little bit of white wine. Simple. Well, fresh. This is great, and not only uh, not only are we gonna, we, we're going to cook a great meal, but the uh, but the mainstay hotel where the restaurant is located is wow. investing a lot of money, sixteen million dollars right, into the hotel and back into the into community. the community. And we're going to talk about that as well, and we're going to put this to uh, together, and we're going to give this a try. Wow. So this sounds delicious. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having. Uh, me. I can't wait to start this up. So we will do that in just a little bit. In the meantime, back to you. So much. Discover Newport brings us Chef Mike Johnson, no relation, from uh, North End Steakhouse at the Main Stay Hotel. Just want to clarify that. Uh, you have some delicious ingredients on Look display. I mean, that. the steak alone looks beautiful. How many ounces is that again? That is a 12-ounce bone-in filet mignon. Mm. Everything else is local, fresh. Pairs well with a nice, simple risotto. So that's what we're yeah. going to do for you today. All right, let's jump in. What, where do we start? So I've got a nice, hot cast iron pan. That's mm -hmm. the most important part about cooking a great steak okay. is to have hot pans. Always have your pan hot. So what I've done is I've seasoned this filet up with a proprietary blend. Now, we use a secret ingredient in our rub okay. that you're not going to find anywhere else. Should I tell you what it is? If you're willing to, yeah. Roasted tea leaves. Huh? Right? Roasted so tea you leaves? roast some tea leaves and it gives you that nice barbecue flavor without thinking too much about it and you're wondering huh. what that flavor is. So I've got that on our 12 ounce here and I brought a few extras. I have a feeling that yeah, some folks are going to like to uh, have some steak later. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this nice and hot okay. and take our bone on filet. Ooh, Listen that's to that. what you want to hear. That's the, the sound. All right, I'm going to turn that the fan on too. Sizzle means flavor, Sizzle right? Means and, and it does get smoky. Is this just something that we can also probably throw on the grill around this time of year? Absolutely. Yeah, people love to grill out. Yeah. Uh, ideally, you're going to roast this on the bone, so you want to have a nice hot surface grill, uh -huh. sizzle pan, whatever you like. So we're going to give that a flip. Okay. Get that seared. So you want to sear it on both sides first. Yep. Look at that. It's fantastic. Well, a little flame's okay. You see it, it pops up. It's going to burn right out, but that, you need it so, so hot to develop that char. When you've got a beautiful cut of meat, like this mm -hmm. bone-on filet, you really want to keep the meat, the ju juices inside the meat. So you sear it on both sides, get it up on that bone. Yeah. And what that's going to do is that's going to go in our oven in just a second. I'm going to let that sit here. Okay. And we're going to get to our risotto, right? I'm going to get that in the oven so we get that smoke how, out of here. How long does it go in the oven for? Till it's done, Michaela. Well, okay. <laughs> you well, look at it it's, it's to your liking, right? Right. And with like that bone, it's going to extend the cooking time just a little bit. So you're mm -hmm. looking about eight or nine minutes in the oven. All right. So while that's roasting on the bone, turn mm -hmm. it up on the bone. You won't dry out your meat. You roast that bone. Get that flavor right through. Yep. And I've got our risotto some... here. I've got some mushrooms and shallots that I've cooked down in some butter. I've right. already uh, cooked a little bit of arborio rice. So we're going to start that right there. i got to cut you off for the sake of time. Yep. We don't want you to get too ahead of yourself. We still have one more cooking segment coming up, so stick around. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Oh, this is a good one. Thanks mm -hmm. to Discover Newport Chef. Mike Johnson is here. No relation. Uh, North End <laughs> uh, Steakhouse and Mainstay Hotel. Filet mignon with risotto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the risotto. I mean, people find risotto intimidating. Not you. Yeah. And it's, well, look, it really is one of the easiest things to make, provided you have the right ingredients. Right. And it a little bit of know-how. And it just takes a little bit of time. And I think that's why people think, well, it's time-consuming. It must be tough to do. It's, it's not. It's time-consuming. And you need to watch it. You don't want to mm -hmm. stick it. And you want 
want that nice creamy texture. So what I've done is I've taken the Arborio rice to almost finish, mm -hmm. and we're gonna add the final ingredients here. We've got some asparagus, they take no time. Mm -hmm. You just wanna scare them with a little bit of heat, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Throw nothing, them in. there's nothing like asparagus that's been <laughs> overcooked, though. No, they really get. I like that you wanna scare them. You just wanna scare the like risotto that. a little oh, bit. Yeah, like and the secret ingredient is a lot of people use that, you know, your Parmesans. So what I'm going to use is a house-made Borson cheese. It's a garlic and herb cream cheese. Huh. Butter, cream cheese, chives, onions. One of the easiest things to make it so expensive. In, in the stores. Right. Yeah. So we're just going to take that down in there. And that's going to give us that nice creamy texture we want in our risotto. Mm. Look at that. Ooh. Is that pretty it, amazing or what? And it soaks it up so quickly. That it sure rice. does. Were you adding chicken stock or vegetable stock? This to is that? chicken stock. I like the uh, the taste of chicken stock. But if you do, if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, you can use whatever stock you want and keep sure. this okay. as a and vegan meal right And I noticed that right that's here. also hot going into hot, so not cold stock going Absolutely. in there. Absolutely needs to be hot. The last thing you want to do is stop the cooking process on your arborio rice. Mm -hmm. So keep the stock hot. And look at that, it's, it's taking it that down. Awesome. So quick. We've got a sauce for our steak here. This is just a nice uh, demi-glaze. We roast some beef bones with some carrots and onions and boil it down for about 16 hours. Yeah. And that gives us this right here. So our risotto is just about done. Well, if you want to grab some chives, throw some chives in there. Put all, you want to put them no, all? No, just a nice just little just pinch. Right. There you go. I want to put them all in, that's why you got the chef. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And a touch of heavy cream. Now, a lot of people mm. say we're watching our weight. Not at our restaurant. We're here to make you have a good time. <laughs> Tell us a little about some, about some of the other items that you offer at the restaurant. So we're a family steakhouse. Uh, an affordable, fun family steakhouse. If Thanks. you're looking for a great steak dinner in Newport, it can be hard to find if you're on a budget right. yeah. or, or you're with your family. Come to the North End Steakhouse. We have something to fit every budget. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're really excited about the $16 million renovation we're doing. That's awesome. Investing mm -hmm. a lot of money into the community. We are here for the local community. Mm -hmm. and and tourists alike. We have a 200 room hotel, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the North End Steakhouse. Wow, that's great. so you offer a lot. That's Absolutely. Great. And that's over at Main Stay Hotel. It's Where 151. Okay. Admiral Calpfus Road. It's right across from the old Newport Grand Casino. Got it. At the foot wow. of the Newport Bridge. So when you get off the bridge, you are right You're at the right North there. End you Steakhouse. Have arrived. Come on in. So look at this. How quickly was that? We had two and a half, three minutes to put mm -hmm. that risotto together. So we're going to get that down on our plate. Oh, guys. Ooh, that looks and good. I love to, you could even swap the veggies too. You don't like mushrooms, put something else in there. Anything or... you want. Any cheese, any mm -hmm. vegetable you like. Look at that bone on filet mignon. And we're going to get our sauce and get that right on that. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Is that amazing or what? Look at that, guys. We put that right there. Will hasn't said a word in a while. That looks so I good. Think he's looking just at the steak. That well, no, so that's what I mean. No, I think he's. It really does. It looks, I mean, it, first of all, it looks delicious. Um, and you were saying you keep it on the bone because it adds it adds even flavor. flavor too. Uh, bones add flavor. That's why we, we, yeah. we make our sauce. We use beef bones. Right. In our sauce. Right. That's where all the okay, flavor is. This. Will go in this. Get into that. Okay. Get right. you some of that. Right, gonna... Don't grumble about it. No, no, no. I'm not grumbling. <laughs> I'm not grumbling. Yeah, plenty of steaks. But let's say someone you in your what? in our party doesn't doesn't care for a steak. We then have you get those people? pasta. Who we have people? chicken, <laughs> seafood. The, right now, yeah. the best local seafood that you can find: oysters. Clams, mm -hmm. lobsters. You got plenty of it. Oh, well. It's like butter. Isn't that amazing? It's like butter. Well, speaking of that, would you like a little butter? Look at, at this. this point. Is that a finishing butter on That's there? That's a or finishing butter. butter. That is a chimichurri butter. Ooh, it's going to add, okay. add a little bit of zest, a little bit of heat to your steak. And look at that. Look at this. Look. <laughs> How perfect. It is cooked perfectly. Is that steak? Wow. That's delicious. Mm. Stop up all those juices at the risotto and everything once you get that bed underneath. I need to slice a little more because I want some of the... Uh, some near the bone? Some of the I want some of the, Yeah, I want some of the sauce on, on the side of it, too. Maybe we should give this. Will a couple minutes with this Can steak. This? You know what? Just, just sit, on the, just sit oh, at the counter. Little, 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's got a dip. glass of wine. He's got everything he needs. I have three Chef more Mike. in the oven to feed everybody. Well, there you go. So, Will, that's all yours. Chef Mike, thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Hey, if so, you want to enjoy this recipe, cheers. you can go to roadshow.com.